I truly feel in my spirit this is a urgent prophetic word released by Dr. Cindy Jacobs. Prophecy concerning something coming that was going to be very, very terrible. And it was at that time we were looking at a Y2K in year 2000. But the Lord said that what was coming after was going to be much, much worse. And so we have come in together collectively. Uh, I've been speaking to the prophets uh, and I've sent out this word that I received uh, just this past Friday as I was on a plane to Canada, uh, Calgary actually in Canada. And I'm going to just read it. And I want to say before I do, uh, something that we will unpack. I, I have been listening to many, many prophetic words on social media. I have been trying to, that about the U.S. and other nations, I've been trying to digest them. We have been trying to digest them. Some of them are serious to the point of the dissolution of the United States, um, all kinds of things happening. And so this is a word that maybe will be something that could cause a dissolution of the U.S. And before I read it, I do want to say prayer changes things. Okay, and you will see that in the prophetic word. We have analyzed this, we've talked about it. We'll have some of our leaders do that. Uh, I will bring on Bishop Bill Hammond right after I speak, who uh, we call the father of the modern day prophetic movement. I will go right to Sharon Stone uh, Black, who started the European Prophetic Council. So we have some senior leaders. We have some that have just come up. We have James Gall and others that have been with us since the beginning. Okay. Word of the Lord for the nations. Do not think that the people who are protesting and calling for a Palestinian state are just protesting on behalf of Palestine. Whether they understand or not, there is an insurrection forming that is like unto the communist takeover in Russia for the downfall of the czars. Only this time, they are aiming for the nations of Canada, the U.S., and the nations of the world. Among the other nations, Europe is especially a target. This is a planned takeover, not only ideologically, but nationally. It has infiltrated militaries and is gaining strength. At the moment, they are quietly planning. There are proxies on the streets and protests. This is not only about bringing a Palestinian state to the Middle East, but an Islamic state to North America and other nations. They are subversive and even using misguided students, but the movement is on a much bigger and more pervasive scale. This Palestinian Islamic state is also part of a larger alliance of us around as the head with a caliphate of Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. Hezbollah will be part of this access of evil and eventually Afghanistan, Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, and other Middle Eastern nations will not be able to remain neutral because you will one day be in the crosshairs of this caliphate or Middle Eastern takeover and your independence will be threatened. So I always thought, how would that happen? You know, and she said it, she explained it very well. And uh, I truly believe that we are heading in that direction. Uh, and then also, I'm very curious about the Antichrist, you know, where the Antichrist is going to come from. And I have watched, seen, analyzed other videos, other resources. But of course, they don't mention in this video. But let's finish this real quick. Africa, choose the right side. Do not side against Israel in the battle. Russia is watching like a devourer to swoop down on Europe through Ukraine. China is being restrained through prayer against uh, gobbling up Taiwan, Korea, and Asia. Even if these alliances work as an excess of evil, Islam will eventually break these alliances to take over. The insurrectionists are set in Paris, London, and other European cities as well in, as in Australia and Latin America. However, the hand of God is waiting to cover those nations who are on their face in repentance and holiness. Judgment has begun at the house of God and will increase. There may be, appear to be a severity in the cleansing of the church. There will be no wiggle room for those who think that no one sees. 
The judgment, this judgment is to clean the house of God in order to give the church the authority in prayer to stop what is coming. For the covers are coming off hidden sin. Those in the prayer movement are going first because some of them stood in my face, says the Lord, and brought uncleanness and mixture before the throne. This will not be tolerated. It is time to confess before you're exposed and cry out to me to help as you navigate through the consequences. For those who truly love me more than hiding your sin, I will help you. Even though it will be difficult, you can choose to go the hard way or the way of holiness and repentance. For I'm jealous for my revival and the raising up of reformers for your nations. The hearts of many of those who are in this new move of God must not be crushed and darkened by the sin of the church. I am the refiner's fire, says the Lord. I am holiness personified. Cry out to be holy and wash clean. Holiness belongs to me, says the Lord. I will not tolerate mixture, even though it seems like I haven't seen the sin of some in the church. I know all things, and I'm going to reveal a side of me that many have not seen in their lifetime. If the church repents, I will relent. I will protect your nations. If the church repents, I will deal with the coming world consequences and give lead wisdom to the leaders of your nations. For foolish governance is a consequence of sin. If the people elect those who snub their noses at biblical principles, their leaders will be like blind people and cause grave mistakes to be made. Turn to me, church, says the Lord. Dr. Cindy, who I love very much, very wonderful, pure woman of God. Got to know her being in the same conferences. But what I'm telling you that we are living in the very last days. And if you want to watch, first of all, let me say this. If you want to watch this video in a full length, because it's, I think, an hour long or more, you can go on Dr. Cindy Facebook page. You can find this video on there and or, or, or her YouTube channel. But what I want to say that on, like, I always curious, I was always curious to see, like, how this all thing's going to come together. And um, now you see this is how it's coming together because America right now is plunging into I, I feel like the civil war is is oh my goodness i don't even want to say uh but right now america is so divided in political and news and and also in, in so many things only prayer can unite this country prayer coming on your knees uh, and, and uh, asking lord to have his will but also you gotta understand the biblically prophecy and um there's all things that that said in the bible uh is gonna happen you know they are not there to scare you but they're there to purify you book of revelation uh, jeremiah talked about israel right now israel in ter uh, being attacked from all different places and right now even the iran said they're not going to you know respond back after israel done the final retaliatory attack in one of their city is fun but they're not going to respond back because israel attacked their nuclear site and also done a big damage but iran downplayed it and will not respond they said if israel attack again then we'll respond um this is what we are coming to conclusion that God is doing a thing, sending messages through solar eclipse. Um, also, red heifer, all these signs you're seeing and, and love is fading away, which is the biggest one. People don't have a love anymore, I feel like. Only the church do, but outside of church, people, people write it to take you down. And... Whoever have a Christ will have love and life. Life without Jesus Christ is impossible. It's not going to happen. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.